I am coming at you with a real-time video. That's why I look like this. I am not presented whatsoever. It is after 10 p.m. right now. I'm getting ready for bed. And I wanted to share with you guys basically how I do a coconut oil mask with castor oil. So what I'm gonna share with you, how I apply the coconut oil, how I sleep with it, and then in the morning time, how I wash it out. All right, so you guys, don't get scared, but this is what my hair looks like after five days. I really wanted to show you what my hair looks like because so many of you say, wow, how is your hair not oily after like four to five days? And that is only when I use dry shampoo and a lot of it. But this right here is what it looks like without any dry shampoo and on the fifth day, which is today. So as you can see, it's pretty oily. The reason why I didn't wash my hair for five days I like to retrain it sometimes, especially now that we're transitioning closer to warmer weather here in Nashville, I almost said Florida. Here in Nashville, we're going into like 60 degree weather from like 20 degrees. I wanna make sure my scalp doesn't overproduce the oils if I start washing it every single day. So that's kind of how I retrain my hair. I don't apply any dry shampoo. I don't apply any other drying products that will dry up the excess oil. And this kind of helps me retrain my hair. So that way I'll be able to not wash my hair in three, four days without using dry shampoo. And I do this a couple of times just to make sure I retrain it. And I'm sure a lot of you will ask, what do I do? How do I keep my hair not looking disgusting if I go out and about? If you guys wanna see an entire video on what I do with oily hair, how I disguise it, let me know if you guys wanna see that video. All right, so basically, today I'm gonna do castor oil and coconut oil. I'm gonna first start with castor oil because I apply this to my scalp and kind of midway, but focusing mostly on the scalp because it's extremely nourishing and it helps circulate the blood flow in your scalp to help hair growth, even though there's not any scientific evidence that castor oil helps your hair growth, but it makes me feel good. It makes my scalp feel really good. It makes it feel very nourished. And I do see a lot of benefits when I do use it. This is the brand Rejuve Naturals. This is certified organic castor oil, and you don't need a lot of this because it's very thick and it's kind of sticky, but not sticky, it's just super thick and concentrated. So I take a very small amount, well, not small, but I'll take a good amount. So you can see how it, it looks kind of like honey or molasses coming out. So I'll start with a good tablespoon to begin with and I'll kind of massage it in my hands, kind of like in between my fingers because basically these become my combs, my hair combs, my finger combs for my hair. So what I'll start, I'll just start very gently using my fingers and kind of massaging the, the hair back because I've been thinning a little bit here. I've noticed I've been stressing out a little bit. So I wanna focus a lot of it towards the front of my scalp. So you see, it's it's really thick. And once you start putting your hair and it kind of gets that feeling of honey. If you ever done like a honey mask, you'll know that feeling. But once you start massaging it into your scalp and your hair, you, it kind of gets rid of that feeling. So once I kind of get a lot of the product in, I'll start very gently massaging my scalp with the oil. I'm going to take a smaller amount this time, maybe half a tablespoon, and I'm going to focus that on the back of my head or my scalp, closer to my neck. So I'm gonna pour just a little bit. I think that's even like a teaspoon, honestly. Just a little bit. Do the same thing, kind of rub it on my hand, warm it up a little bit, go in between my fingers, and then just work the back of my head. And this is the time where I wash my hands and I usually do this in the bathroom and I make sure to open up all the products <laughs> before I begin this process. So I'll be right back. So next and last step for the mask is coconut oil. This one right here we've been using for many years. This is the Nutiva coconut oil. It's organic, it's virgin, which means nothing is processed. It's not filtered by any means. So it's basically just raw virgin coconut oil. We both really, really like it. It's one of the better brands that we have tried and they're pretty inexpensive on Amazon. I think this entire jug is like $19 or something and it does last a very long time. So basically what I do is I'll take a wooden spoon like this, also from Amazon. Love these, so amazing. And I'll just kind of start scooping it out. Right now it's cold in Asheville, so this coconut oil 
is nice and solid. <laughs> We just make sure to store coconut oil somewhere where it's dark, like inside the cupboard or inside the pantry. So the first spoonful I'll take like a good heaping spoonful and I'll take like half of that, good half of that and start kind of rubbing it into my hands to warm it up. And before it completely melts, I start applying it to the ends of my hair from the middle to the ends. All right, continue doing that. And I kind of work fast with because coconut oil does melt pretty quick once it's on your hands. And then whatever is left on the spoon, I'm gonna bring it up to the top or kind of like where the crown of the head is. So obviously how much coconut oil you're gonna use is gonna be catered towards your hair and your hair type. For example, if you have really thick hair, you're probably gonna need at least two of those heaping tablespoons. And if you have shorter hair like I do, especially when I had shorter hair, I probably use half of that tablespoon just because that would have been way too much for my hair. But I do like to saturate it with the coconut oil. It does seem like it's a lot, but it does wash out. And I'll show you guys tomorrow morning how I do it. So once both of the oils are applied, this is kind of where I go back in with my hands, back with my finger combs, and just massage my hair from the front to the back and then from the middle to the bottom, just to make sure both the coconut and the castor oil is mixed in together. And this is, I don't know, I feel like it stimulates the blood flow in my scalp when I do massage it and it just feels good. And I like to do this for at least a couple of minutes. So other oils that I love using with the coconut oil, I like using tea tree oil when I feel that my scalp is irritated or it's extra dry. That way it will kind of calm my scalp down. And another oil that I love using also is jojoba oil. I used to pronounce it jojoba oil, which I know, <laughs> but some of you corrected me and thank you for that. It's jojoba oil and I'll use that also on my scalp and on the ends and on the roots and it just whatever your hair needs or your scalp needs, I feel like you should listen to it. If it's dry, make sure you're moisturizing it. Make sure you're not over washing your hair. So let's say if my scalp and my hair is both feeling really dry, I will use more jojoba oil compared to coconut oil just because Jojoba oil, the particles are a lot smaller and they penetrate more and they penetrate deeper. So that way it's gonna be a lot more hydrated and a lot more moisturized versus coconut oil, the particles are a little bit bigger. So it doesn't penetrate as deep, that's what she said. But obviously listen to your hair, listen to your scalp, what it needs and what it wants and what it's looking like if it's feeling dull go for a little jojoba oil, go for a little castor oil, coconut oil, and just have fun with it. That's just kind of what I do and see what works for you, see what doesn't. It's fun doing and catering to what your hair needs because you're using all natural products, so it's not gonna hurt you in the long run. All right, so usually how I sleep is I'll place a towel on my pillows, depending how many pillows I'm gonna sleep on that night. Usually I sleep on two or one. <laughs> so I'll take kind of a thicker, more plushy towel. That way a lot of the oil will absorb into the towel rather than the pillow. And it doesn't move overnight. I never had an issue. Usually I'm more conscious that I have a hair mask on. So that way I don't move around as much because I am an explorer when I sleep. I like to explore the entire bed. So I'm, I feel like I'm more self-conscious while I sleep. So I don't move as much. I don't know, makes sense in my head, but every time I wake up, I'm still on the towel. <laughs> and if I don't wanna use a towel and I feel like wearing some kind of head wrap, I'll wear usually something like this, like a really simple head towel. This is by the brand Kitched. Kitched? Kitched. So it's basically like this. They sell them pretty much anywhere. It's usually made out of microfiber, which will kind of keep everything in there and it's great. Love this one. Sometimes the elastics do start hurting after a long period of time. So if it's gonna be a short night, if it's gonna be like four to six hours, usually I'll sleep in something like this. That way it's kind of all contained and it's not getting all over the place. Or if I wanna keep my hair up, I'll get a little scrunchie. This is also by Kitched. 
I think this was um, a little collaboration that Kaylee Melissa from YouTube did with them. And this is also made out of microfiber and it does have an elastic. I'll just pick up my hair in a bun and put this elastic around the bun and I'll just go to bed with the towel underneath just to make sure obviously because the rest of the hair is covered in oil. All right, so tonight I'm actually going to sleep with a little scrunchie and a towel. And I'm just using just a regular hair comb to brush up my hair. So I want to make sure there's no kinks or weird knots. And I just take the hair and kind of wrap it around. Once and then twice. And then to finish it off, I'm going to apply some hairspray to make it really nice and tight and secure. No, I'm just kidding. All right, you guys. So let's go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. We are in the shower <laughs> and I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to first start off with a shampoo and I'm going to use the Olaplex number four. I'm going to take my normal sized amount, which is usually like a good quarter sized amount in my palm. And I'll just kind of lather it in my hands and start working it mostly on my scalp, not focusing it on the ends just to make sure most of the oils from the scalp is removed that needs to be removed and then i'm going to go in a second time this time with the purple shampoo just because i want to tone my hair obviously if i were not to use the purple shampoo i would go in a second time with the same shampoo but use a little bit less this time probably half of the first time that i used because there's still going to be a little bit of shampoo left and it's going to lather even more and this time i focus a little bit more like the ends a little bit more on the scalp just to make sure in areas where I do get oily like behind the ears, around my neck, the front of the head and the, the crown just to make sure I kind of focus in those areas, rinse it out and then apply a tiny bit of conditioner. I'm using the Olaplex number no. 5 conditioner just to the ends of my hair. And then I will see you guys in my filming room to style, well dry and style my hair. So I'm out of the shower and this is what the hair looks like. I kept it up in a towel while I was doing my makeup. And you know what makes me happy while I was doing my makeup? The only thing I used in my eyebrows was the Gimme Brabbit Benefit. I didn't have to fill them in extra. That makes me happy. My eyebrows are growing. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you guys what the hair looks like without any products. Most of the time I apply some kind of leave-in conditioner, but I want you guys to see what it looks like after the mask. So I'm just gonna quickly brush out the hair with a wide tooth comb, or you can use like a tangle teaser. I'm gonna start obviously towards the bottom, making my way towards the top. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but my hair is nice and toned. It's not as brassy, it's not as yellow. You guys, I haven't gotten my hair done since October, so. Purple shampoo to the rescue. Now that the hair is brushed out, there's no kinks or knots in there. It's nice and separated. Now I'm going to dry and style my hair using the Dyson, the smoothing brush attachment. And I'm going to keep it on the second airflow, the highest heat setting, and then quickly make my way down to the lowest heat setting and just kind of dry it out and style it. So this is what the hair looks like after I dried my hair and then at the very end, once my hair is pretty much all dry, I went in with the Cool Shot with the Dyson just to really smooth everything down to kind of seal it all in place because I'm not gonna use any more heat on my hair. And this is what the hair looks like. There's no other products besides the shampoo, the purple shampoo and the conditioner. 
on my hair. I didn't apply any oils. I didn't apply any leave-in conditioner before I styled it. I think it looks pretty good. It's very shiny. It's very bouncy. It's full of life. And I like that the purple shampoo toned my hair enough where most of the brassiness is gone. But I think the best part is, is how the hair looks and how it feels. The ends, they don't feel dry at all. I feel like I don't need to add any extra oils. And this is basically how the hair acts after the castor and the coconut oil the next day. And as you can see, when I change parting lines, the hair doesn't fall flat. It doesn't look oily. It doesn't look greasy. And I think one of the biggest mistakes when I did start using coconut oil many years ago, I would just do a one time shampoo and I wouldn't focus it too much on my scalp or my roots. I would focus most of the shampoo on my mid to the ends of my hair and that way my hair would get oily a lot faster. It wouldn't look as fresh and clean. And what I started doing was I double cleanse. I hope I answered most of your questions. If you do have other questions, please leave your comments down below. And I hope I can answer your questions for you if I didn't answer them in this video. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.